Hello everybody and welcome back to our virtual classroom. I'm Joe Carswell and this lesson is going to cover unit conversions. We need to understand unit conversions when we're talking about construction math problems. We're going to perform this process all the time. It might be happening inside of a construction calculator, but in reality, we're taking specific units that we might find on the job site and we're converting them to either larger or smaller units, different size units that we then will apply to whatever material we're ordering, whatever decision we're trying to make, whatever math problem that comes up on the job site. An example of unit conversions would be if we're trying to calculate the volume of concrete to be poured on site. Typically, our measurements are going to be in feet and inches, and we're going to have to convert these to something that makes more sense for concrete. Most concrete is going to be ordered in yards or cubic yards. So in all of that uh, process to solve that problem, we would have to convert measurements or units back and forth. So keep in mind that unit conversions are a very common thing to do. There's some simple numbers we have to remember to do it, and there's a sort of a basic process to go through. So let's get right into it. We'll start this process of unit conversion to talk about inches and feet. These are length dimensions, and we're often converting from feet to inches or inches to feet. The important thing to remember when we're converting in this specific way would be that there are 12 inches per foot. So you can always remember this idea that there are 12 units, inches per foot, and we can divide our inches by 12 to get our feet, and we can multiply our feet by 12 to get our inches. Here is an example of that happening. So inches divided by 12 equals feet. So if I had 96 inches, if I divide that by 12, I'm going to end up with 8 feet. If I wanted to go the other way, we could do that as well. If I knew my feet, I could multiply that times 12, and I could arrive at an equal inch measurement. So we have 9 feet. We can multiply 9 feet times 12, and that's going to give us 108 inches. This is the equivalent unit conversion for inches. Let's talk about yards and feet conversions. Yards are not a really common measurement that we're going to use in the field. You might hear of yards when we're talking about a football field. That's a typical reason to use yards. Yards are going to be a unit that is larger than feet, and there are three feet per yard. So we can multiply our yards times three to arrive at our feet, and we can divide feet by three to arrive at a yard unit measurement. This is a back and forth process, either dividing or multiplying to arrive at one unit or the other. So 12 feet divided by three equals four yards. We can also convert the other way. Here we have four yards. If we multiply that times our factor of three, we're going to get to our 12 feet. We can also convert yards to inches or inches to yards. That's easy enough. Keep in mind, if there's three feet per yard and there's 12 inches per foot, then there are 36 inches per yard. So we can divide our feet by 36, and that's going to give us our yards. Or we can multiply our yards by 36 to arrive at our inches. An example of inches to yards would be 216 inches divided by our factor of 36 equals 6 yards. An example of yards to inches would be 6 yards multiplied by our factor of 36 is going to equal 216 inches. Now that we've covered our unit conversions for lengths, let's get into something a little more complicated. We're going to talk about area now, and area is going to add another dimension to our length. Now we're going to have length times width. That's going to amount to area. This is how the formula works. In construction, area is going to be square inches, square feet, and square yards. And this is going to define floor area. It could define wall area. Surface area can be measured this way. And the units are going to be called square units. When you're working through construction problems, whether that's on plans, you're looking online or other places, you're going to see these square units spelled out in different ways. We're going to use simple ones and we're going to repeat them, but there are many ways to call out these units. What's really important is that you understand spell out and that you identify square units in one of these ways. It could be SQ inches for square inches. It could be SQIN abbreviated for square inches. We're going to use IN squared as our standard. The same for square feet and square yards. 
when converting square inches to square feet or square feet to square inches, you have to understand what's happening. If you look at this illustration, it's showing you the difference between a square inch and a square foot and how many square inches will fit into this space or area of a square foot. So it just so happens that a square foot is one foot long by one foot wide and a square inch is one inch long by one inch wide and there are 144 square inches that will fit into a square foot. I think this illustrates it pretty well. It also gives us a number that we can work with when we're converting the units back and forth. That number is what I mentioned before, 144. So just like our feet and 12 inches in each foot for linear measurements, there are 144 square inches in every square foot. It's important to remember this number. We can divide our square inches by 144 to arrive at our square foot measurement or we can multiply our square feet by this same factor of 144 to arrive at our square inch measurement. Here's an example of inches to square feet conversions. So 39,024 square inches divided by that factor of 144 is going to equal 271 square feet. If you wanted to go the other way and convert square feet to square inches, you could use that same factor. We're going to take 271 square feet and multiply that times 144. That equals 39,024 square inches, which is where we started off. We can also convert square feet to square yards or square yards to square feet. First of all, let's define what a square yard is. We talked about a square foot and a square yard is going to be a yard long by a yard wide. We're going to add another dimension to it. We're working on area, so we're working in two dimensions. And so this yard is going to be three feet by three feet. That's the measurement that defines the area of a square yard. And it just so happens that there are nine square feet in one square yard. This illustration shows that fairly clearly. And from that, we can deduce or use that number of nine parts of square feet per square yard, and we can use that as a factor to convert back and forth of our units. So if we divide our square feet by that factor of nine, we're gonna arrive at a square yard measurement. If we multiply our square yards by that factor of nine, we'll arrive at our square feet. Here's an example of converting square feet to square yards. We can take that factor of nine, and if I take 252 square feet, divide it by nine, that will equal 28 square yards. We can also convert yards to square feet. This time we're gonna multiply, so we'll take 28 square yards, we will multiply that times that factor of nine, and that's gonna equal 252 square feet. Let's add another dimension to our units. So now we're gonna talk about volume. We came from area, and area was length times width. Let's add a third dimension to this, which will be our height. So now we have length times width times height. Now we're talking about volume. We've got different units to identify and calculate volume. These are going to be cubic inches, cubic feet, and cubic yards. And like with square units, Cubic units are going to be shown in different ways depending on where you're looking. A set of plans, online, math teachers will have their preference. In this video or this lesson, we're going to use the one on the right here, which for cubic inches would be IN cubed with a three. And cubic feet is going to be FT3. And then cubic yards is going to be YD3. Keep in mind that all of these are calling out the same number of units. What's really important is that you know how to identify and use that unit to convert back and forth. To start with, let's talk about cubic feet, what that is, cubic inches, what that is, and how they relate to each other. So this particular illustration is showing you a cubic foot and a cubic inch and how that cubic inch would fit into the space of that cubic foot. The question is, how many cubic inches will fit into the space of a cubic foot? And the answer is big. The answer is going to be 1,728 cubic inches that will fit into the space of a cubic foot. I'm pretty impressed by that, but there's something even more impressive coming up. So if we look at this small cube, which is one inch by one inch by one inch at the top there, 
we can put 1728 of those in our larger cube, which is 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. Now we can use that number of 1728 and we can divide or multiply it by whatever number that we're trying to convert based on the units to solve for these problems. So an example of cubic inches to cubic feet is 207,360 cubic inches divided by that factor of 1728 equals 120 cubic feet. So going the other way, we can convert cubic feet to cubic inches. Here's an example, 120 cubic feet times 1728 equals 207,360 cubic inches. Now let's talk about cubic feet to cubic yards. And we know that a square yard is three feet by three feet. If we add an equal dimension of height, that becomes a cube. So we have a three foot long by three foot wide by three foot high cube. And we can fit into that cubic yard 27 cubic feet. Remember our cubic foot is one foot tall by one foot long by one foot wide. So we can do this by dividing our cubic feet by that factor of 27 to arrive at our cubic yards, or we can multiply our cubic yards by 27 to arrive at our cubic feet. Here's an example of cubic feet to cubic yards. We can take 3,240 cubic feet Divide it by that factor of 27, that will give us an answer of 120 cubic yards. To convert it back from cubic feet to cubic yards, we can multiply times that factor of 27. That will turn 120 cubic feet into 3,240 cubic yards. Our last unit conversion is very entertaining to me because I like to think about this problem. How many cubic inches is in a cubic yard? So we know a cubic inch is one inch by one inch by one inch, and a cubic yard is one yard by one yard by one yard. And the number of those parts in a cubic yard is staggering. There are actually 46,656 cubic inches in this space of a cubic yard. That's amazing to think about if you had to literally put those pieces in one at a time. So given that information, it's staggering number, but if we use that number, it will make this conversion happen very quickly. So you can divide your cubic inches by this factor of 46,656 to arrive at our cubic yards. And at the same time, if you wanted to go back the other direction, you could take your cubic yards, multiply it by 46,656 to arrive at your cubic inches. Here's an example of cubic inches to cubic yards. 233,280 cubic inches divided by 46,656 is going to simplify to five cubic yards. We can go the other way. We can take our five cubic yards, multiply it times 46,656. That equals 233,280 cubic inches. Guys, that was a lot of information. My head's kind of spinning from that. What this brings us to is some very simple rules we can follow when we need to solve construction problems. And this review page becomes maybe the most important part of this lesson. If you need to pause and study this now, please go ahead. Also, this information will be available in your student resources. Let's do this quick review, starting with our linear unit conversions. So we need to remember just some simple numbers and what those numbers apply to. Starting with our linear or length measurement unit conversions, there are a few numbers to remember. So if we're going from feet to inches or inches to feet, we'll always use 12. The factor 12 is important because there's 12 inches in every foot. When we're going from yards to feet or feet to yards, just remember there's three feet in every yard. When you're dealing with yards to inches or inches to yards, Keep in mind that number of 36 because there's 36 inches in every yard. Moving on to area, remember area is two dimensions. That's length times width. So we're talking about square units. And when we're going from square yards to square feet or square feet to square yards, we can use that number nine. That's because there are nine square feet in every square yard. If you're talking about feet to inches or inches to feet, we can use that number of 144 because there's 144 square inches in every square foot. 
Lastly, we're dealing with volume. Volume is going to add our third dimension. So now we have length times width times height. So we're dealing with cubed units. And our cubed units, if we're going from yards to feet or feet to yards, we're going to use this factor or this number 27. That's because there are 27 cubic feet in every cubic yard. When we're talking about cubic feet to cubic inches, or cubic inches to cubic feet, we're going to use a factor or a number 1728. This number is the number of cubic inches in every cubic foot. The last one and my favorite is if we're converting from cubic yards to cubic inches, we're going to use this crazy big number of 46,656. That's going to get us from cubic yards to cubic inches or cubic inches to cubic yards. And that's because in every cubic yard, there is 46,656 little cubic inches in that space. So keep in mind, this is information you will use to solve a whole lot of construction math problems. You will revisit this information a lot. If you can commit these numbers to memory, it will help you out in this process of problem solving construction math. Even if you're using a construction calculator to solve these problems, it's really important to know what's happening behind the scenes and what physically needs to happen to solve these problems. I hope you've learned something here. Thanks for sticking with me. Good luck applying these in the next lesson, which is solving construction math problems. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.